Good morning. It's Friday the 18th of December. Um, weather is uh, pretty atrocious. Down at another spot, uh, which I really enjoy fishing. Bit of a walk, bit of a hike. Um, got my waterproofs on. Gonna need my waders today. It's a big tide. Um, got some decent bait. So um, here we go. So we're along the um, the West Somerset coast. Um, one thing I've never really taken into account before is the the scenery. You, know, you can see the different um, sorts of mud and rock and everything like that. Quite pretty, really, which is good. Um, down here, plenty of time, nice and early. Going to be setting up in a minute. A little bit of a stroll from over there. I'll be going way, way down past that um, the point down there. So. Um, yeah, a little bit of a stroll. Um, a bit windy, uh, although I'm protected by these um, the cliffs at the moment. Um, I will be fishing when this water recedes out on the reefs. So, long way to go yet. Nice and keen though. Haven't been fishing for a week. Fresh rigs made up, loads of fresh bait. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. like the surface of the moon round here but out at sea you'll have these patches of rocks underneath the rocks you'll have crabs there's a lot of winkles there's whelks um, further down the reef there are oysters but it is literally like what I imagine the moon to be like amazing stuff also, how the hell do these rocks all move? So while we're waiting for the tide just to uh, move back, um, this is my setup. Ziplex rods, 13 foot 6, Dynamic HSTs. HST means high speed tip, so the recovery time of the rod is quicker. So when you cast out, it recovers a lot quicker. If you have a slightly lesser rod, a lot bendier, you might find that it sort of uh, wobbles during the cast, whereas these recover very fast. Um, I normally fish down the down the butt. Um, it gives me better leverage when winding fish in. Also for this sort of terrain as well, it gives me a slightly higher tip. Um, I prefer and have used these for quite a few years now is the Daiwa Sea Line X20 SHAs. Good solid reels, tried and tested. I normally put it onto the power handle. So from the shop they come literally like so i normally use uh, sakuma line sometimes use asso hard line as well um, 16 to 18 pound uh, normally with a 70 pound shock leader um, but yeah that's the re reasons why i use these and they work for me um, perfect for this sort of area hopefully i'll show you how they work with the fish on later so just going across to my mate's tackle setup Good solid rod rest. I like the um, I like the idea of his rod rest because it actually um, fixes in place, so you can fix all the uh, the legs in place. Um, Sentry tip tornado rods. They've got a gearbox design, so as you go through the cast, they really really work. Um, he's had these for a couple of years now. Absolutely superb rods. The difference between Paul's rod setup is he has the reducers. Um, so it gives him extra leverage again, um, rather than winding, um, sort of, how can I put it, with the butt sort of stuck in your in your midriff, um, so you've got more leverage there, but also during the cast, when you've got the reels down the rod, it gives you a much greater sort of rod action, you can compress the rod better than if it was up the rod. Little tip with Paul's rods, um, he's got a thumb stop, which literally just pulls up over the reel, during the cast and gives him much much greater um, sort of uh, uh, sort of control on the on the reel and also sometimes in the wet like it is today um, if you haven't got that your thumb may slip so all this is just an inner, tu inner tube tire uh, from a tire um, you know, bicycle tire that sort of thing taped on and it just stretches up over the reel pen 525 mags Barclay trialing um, 
main line and asso hard, asso hard line um, 60 or 70 I think he uses 70 pound um, obviously I won't be filming the, these rods today because he won't be catching fish but I will so stay tuned I'll speak to you in a bit Paul's got a bite on here. Uh, we're fishing one rod at the moment because we're really high in the tide. Uh, it feels really fishy. We've had um, a couple of bites each. Um, that's a rag and crab bait out there. The only thing is now, once you get a fish up on here, you have to w really wind it. You have to get the pressure on quick. Otherwise, um, it goes in the, uh, in the bottom. So after um, getting snagged in the bottom, um, I managed to get this one out, but when I said about the bottom hook being more bendy than the other, you can see what's happened here. I've managed to get it out, out of the reef, snagged in, so I'll cut it off and start again. But the benefits of it is the hook's bent out after a lot of pressure and um, I got my gear back, so happy days. So, nothing so far. Um, Paul's had a small conger, I've lost a rig. Um, it's about an hour before low, to low tide. Um, it's been chucking it down rain. The winds are up to 49 mile an hour on the, um, on the weather report. Um, so there's some quite strong gusts. So, Fresh bait out, which is black lug and crab. So one black lug and crab on a pulley rig. Um, it's hard going. Should get a fish in a minute. That bait looks almost good enough to eat. Let's keep going. So it's about an hour before low tide. Um, conditions could be better. Got me mate Paul just behind me. He's had a small conger. Uh, the rain has given up a little bit now. Uh, sea is flat calm, very moody sky behind us. Very moody indeed. I've got some fantastic baits out there. Um, but the gusts are pretty strong. So, got to keep going. Fresh baits all the time. Um, we're out on things called reefs, which are what I used to call things like pavements. So if you look behind me, you can see the style of it. Uh, there's a lot of things these days called rock oysters around here. Now the rock oysters, I don't know if they're native to us. Um, you can see, like original oysters, but they, they live in the crevices and the cracks of the rocks. Very unusual but the reefs are littered with them now. So, interesting, very interesting. People think oysters out there, neck. but uh, hey, they must be. Are they native to our waters? I don't know. I'll keep you posted when I catch a fish. So with reference to the rock oysters that I mentioned earlier, um, these reefs we used to have them years ago, never used to have any on them. Uh, but now as the tides just recede a little bit more, I'll do a video just to show um, how many there are now. It's almost like plague proportions. They, I'm sure they don't have any natural predators.
You can see they're dotted everywhere. The fish feed on them. How do they come up? And they are all over the reef now. Some big calls and whelks. But these never used to be on the reefs before. There we have it. Rock oysters everywhere. Mate Paul's just got a, um, a good run. That could be, it's a double squid. So it could be a ray. Our double squid could be anything. Hopefully it's a cod. taking line, that's good news. Mind you, I saw where a um, smooth hand was caught on the boat the other day. Who knows? Could do with a decent ray. Lift his spirits, because he was a little bit down in the dumpster now. <laughs> Just keep going, keep it on the surface, keep it on the surface, keep going, your arms are going to be pumped now. Keep going mate, go on, you can do it, go on, go on, keep going, keep going. Well done mate. Wow, there we go. Little male thornback ray. Let's get him unhooked. Nice little thornback. Double squid. Oh, is he about three and a half, four? Well done. Do you want me to put it back? So, the decent stroll back. Takes about half an hour. Um, no cod, but uh, decent to have a look on the way back. Uh, we're going off to a, another mark now for high tide. Here we go again. Well, this is about as hard as it gets. Um, out on a mark the other side of mine head. Really, really tough conditions. Rain is really persistent. Um, winds are pretty, uh, pretty hectic as well. But lovely sea on. So here we have less spotted dogfish. Not the cod that we were after. Um, you can see, you can see their own cells. Part of the shark family. If you look at their skin, oops, soft one way and very, very rough the other way. But um, yeah, he's going to go back, back in the sea to live for another day. There we go. Lesser spotted dogfish.